Hi, Sarah here, Spectrum Weavers. I'm going to show you today how to do a shadow layer or an outline or an offset or an outset. It, all the programs call it something different. It's, it's the outline around your words or vectors. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this in a program called Inkscape. It's a free design program. Um, it's open source. So the trusted place to download Inkscape is inkscape.org. It is also in the Microsoft Store. If you're on Windows 10, you can get it there as well. Um, and again, it is a free program. So obviously Design Space does not have the capability to do outlines like this. That's why we're doing it in Inkscape and we're going to import it into Design Space. So I'm going to bring you over to Inkscape. You have to kind of bear with me here because I am, I'm dealing with reduced size screens to try to capture all of this for you. I know it's not easy to, uh, and there we go, in and out of focus. Okay, so this is Inkscape, okay? And you can see the page is, is pretty small. It always comes up like that. I don't know why. If you press the, the plus button on your keyboard, it'll bring it, oh, and the minus button will bring it back down. So that'll bring it up to size. That's your page. That's just a guideline, but just for the heck of it, we'll bring that to size. Okay, so now the first thing you're going to do, you're going to go over to your left-hand side. You see that A right there that my pointer's on? Click on that. That's your, um, your text button. And then if you go up to the very top, you can see where it says sans serif right now. Click on that. That's your drop-down for your fonts. I am going to go to a font called... Hello Wedding. It's one of my very favorite fonts. Okay, now I'm going to click on here and I'm going to type in. I'm going to do something. Instead of doing cutest pumpkin in the patch, I'm going to do something super simple just to show you so you can see how to do it. There's no, there's no reason to have to do the extra text. So I'm just going to type out hello. Okay. Now to select it, you see where I'm going back up to this pointer up in the upper left hand corner? Click on that. When something is selected, you'll see these arrows around it, okay? So I'm going to want to make that bigger. To do that, I'm going to stretch it out from the bottom corner. Now to do it and keep it in um, in the right proportions, you need to press Control on your keyboard while pulling it out. So I'm going to press Control, and I'm going to pull this out, okay? So now I have Hello. Now what I need to do is I need to duplicate that. So I need to go to... Um, edit, copy, edit, paste. Okay, now you have two of them that are the exact same size. So what I want to do now is I want to go to, you can see that the second one is selected. I want to go to path, and then I want to go down to outset. I do it once, it outsets it a little bit. Okay, I want to do it more than that. I want to outset it again. Okay, so that's how many times I'm going to do it for now. Now, just to show you how these line up, I'm going to click on that. Uh, I don't have my whole screen. I'm going to have to move this up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. And I'm down here on the bottom, that's where you change the color. So I am going to change that to a gray color. And then you can see that that is behind the other one. If I go up here and I go to Object, and then I go down here, I'm going to raise that layer to the top. It'll sit right on top of it. And that is how it will end up looking. Okay? And that's exactly what we want. So we're going to take this over here. Click that back on black just for the heck of it. Okay? And then what we need to do is we need to convert these to paths. Okay? So we're going to click on this. We're going to go up to... Oh, let me, let me bring you back down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing on top. Okay. So we have this selected. We're going to go up to Path, Object to Path, and then we're going to go over to the left, right directly be below that pointer. You see that? Edit Paths by Nodes. You need to click that, okay? Now you're going to do the exact same thing again. You're going to go to your arrow to select, select this. You're going to go to Path, Object to Path, and then the exact same thing, right below that, right below your arrow, the edit paths by nodes. Okay? 
And there you go. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go to File, Save As. Okay, and this is going to be the same as saving anything else. You're going to want to save it, you know, wherever you want to save something. It says Inkscape SVG. It's fine to leave it on that. That's basically what you want. So um, what I'm saying is that you're going to want to save it someplace that you, you know where you're saving it. I'm saving it in AMA2. It's a folder that I, it's just where I use all my works in progress. Save it as something that you're going to be able to remember to pull up. So this I will name Hello 1000. Okay, and I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to bring this back up, Design Space. And I'm going to, I'm going to start, okay, I'm going to start a new just a, a new workspace so that I can show you. Okay, let me actually bring this down a little bit so that you can see the whole workspace. I don't know if you saw that or not, so I'll just go ahead and go back. I mean, I'm sure you guys know how to upload, but click on upload, go to upload image, go to browse, and I named that Hello 1000. Click on that, open. and save click on it insert image okay now you see that it brought it up in pieces that's fine um, you can take the whole thing the easiest way to do it probably is to weld the whole thing so while the whole thing is selected weld it and then take insert a shape a square, whatever. Cover one of your two. You're going to slice these apart. Okay. So, um, best way to select two. I don't know for me, I guess. I always just press control and then press the other one. But you, you know how to select all or draw a box around it. Whatever you want to do to select both of them. Press slice. Okay. Get rid of your box. Get rid of your extra one. Change your color. For the sake of argument, we will change it to white. Again, you need to arrange, move to front. Okay, and there you go. Now you have two options at this point, okay? You can leave it like this and just cut your two, your two in vinyl or, you know, whatever you're cutting in, that's fine. Um, or the other option, if you're trying to slice this out, say you're trying to do an inlay. Some of you have seen some of my inlay projects. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to go like this. You're going to select both and then you're going to align and center and slice again. Okay. So now this is going to give you an empty space here. See how you can see through it? I'll put a shape behind it so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. So we'll take this, turn it yellow and we will arrange move to back see how you can see through this now and that's just an extra layer so either way that'll show you the basics of doing an outline um, the font again is hello wedding I'm going to uh, link in the notes where you can find that font um, if you want to subscribe to my channel in the next probably week or so I'm gonna be uploading a lot of informative videos on how to use um, Inkscape. A lot of people don't even know the very basics of Design Space. I'm going to give you a lot of that. Um, I'll be working on Brother Scan and Cut Canvas. Uh, you're also doing some tut tutorials on um, Silhouette Studio as well as CorelDRAW for people that use that. Okay, thanks so much. Have a good night.